Yo, what's up? This is Carl C up in this motherfucker, and this is my boy Vinny B. We run this shit. We getting paper, weed, and we fucking bad bitches all day, every day. All day, every day. And if you fuck with us, you gonna get your ass capped. That's for the police. Fuck the police. They can suck our dicks. Come and get us. <laughs> man, we crazy like that, and we don't give a fuck. Man, I blow this motherfucker, man. I'm hungry. All right. You two are under arrest for making threats, violating probation, carrying guns without a permit, possession of stolen property, evading arrest, and not paying a speeding ticket. Anything you two would like to say to the camera? I'm just going to keep it real with you two. You may have thought you were being hard, gangster, or whatever making that video, but you are in serious trouble for it. And I'm just keeping it real. Damn, girl, it's like that? Yeah, it's like that. You were looking at so much jail time, especially for possession of stolen weapons. You might want to cancel your future plans. Although, it doesn't have to be that bad. What do you mean? I want the name of the guy that you got the guns from. We know y'all don't run a big crime ring, but the guy that you got the guns from does. So if you provide me with a name and it holds, you won't have too much to worry about. It's a sweet deal, guys. If you two wannabes have any common sense, you'll take it. But then again, if you had any common sense, you wouldn't be in this position. Yeah, all right, man. We ain't snitching. Are you for real about no jail time? Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Man, it's not worth doing time over a stupid video. I didn't feel like making the first place. Oh, so now you didn't want to make the shit, huh? Quit playing. I didn't feel like making the video in the first place. Let me guess. Peer pressure? Man, does he have to be here? He is the least of your problems. I suggest you focus on my offer. I can't believe I'm in this mess. Look, guys. My offer's only good for a limited time. You need to think. Is protecting this guy really worth doing years in jail for. His name is Marcus Stern. He lives on Canal Street. Can't stand that motherfucker anyway. He drove a white truck. His woman's name is Trey. I stole food when I was five, and I still went to bed. Nice job in there. Mm. For a minute I thought he wasn't gonna break. <laughs> well, thank you. I, uh, I'm still not sure what to do about his confession of bedwetting. Well, that I think we'll leave to his therapist. Mm. But that was one fine example of how keeping it real goes wrong. It never ceases to amaze me, people filming themselves breaking the law. It makes you question humanity. Mm. Captain. Highland. I need a word with you. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm doing court. I'm prosecuting a guy who got caught selling weed online. Imagine. Well, thank you for your assistance. No problem. What can I do for you? I just got done reading the report of your latest arrest. Oh, that must be the one about the woman I arrested for putting the hit on her husband through that social networking website. Must have been a good read. Uh, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Hmm. Yeah, kind of reminds me of my ex whenever I'd leave the toilet seat up. I'm going to give it to you straight, Highland. You've just been assigned a new partner. I don't want a new partner. Do you honestly expect us to let you continue with that one? Yeah, I work better alone, you know that. You and Charlie worked well together before he was injured. My point exactly. Lightning never strikes twice. Detective, you seem to be under the mistaken impression that I'm asking you to do this. I'm not. This is a direct order I expect it to be followed. Understood? Understood. I'm glad we have this understanding. So, I hear congratulations are in order. For what? 
I heard that you just got accepted into the cyber crimes unit. How'd you hear about that? I know people. Here's a report you asked for. Oh, thank you, Marlena. No problem. So, any plans for tonight? No, just gonna go home and read up on the new software updates that we're getting tomorrow. I'm very excited. Right. Well, I'm gonna be hanging out with a few people. You're more than welcome to come along. Thanks for the invite, but I can't. Yeah, I got accepted, but I mean, they're still looking for a few good people. You should really think about transferring with me. Come on, Tina. <laughs> you work all the time. You need to live a little. Maybe next time. Okay. I love you, but you really need to work on being more social. I'm social? You think I don't know how to have a good time? No, not when you're working all the time. Listen, the offer is still on the table if you change your mind. I don't know, Joe. Transferring to a department that prosecutes crimes committed on the internet, that seems like a step down to me. Man, I'm just rolling with the times. If you say so. You wanted to see us, Miss Watkins? Yes. What's it about? There's a fugitive named Chad Perkin who was responsible for two murders in Florida. He managed to flee the scene before local law enforcement could arrest him, and he's been on the run for two months. Nah, he could be anywhere by now. Well, he could be, but his story made the news, and shortly after the broadcast aired, a tip came in on one of our online outlets. Online outlets? You'd be surprised how many accurate tips we get from them. Don't mind that guy. He's just anti-technology. A lady living in an apartment complex sent us a picture, and after a thorough examination, I was able to confirm that it is Mr. Perkin. Any idea what he was doing in the neighborhood? Neighbor said he's staying with a woman named Lily Brown. <laughs> Girls do fall for that bad boy, huh? Mm -hmm. Not only do I have the address for you, too, I was able to get you a search warrant as well. You are awesome. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? I was just trying to let some light in. Are you trying to announce the whole world I'm in here? No, babe, I'm just tired of living like a damn vampire. Really? Yeah, really. Mm. Mm. Damn, I love you. I love you too. Mm. We gotta stop. Excuse me? Babe, we've been here too long. We need some money. We gotta go. Um, all right. I, I guess I know a bank we could hit up. Who's that? Babe, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean, I wasn't expecting anybody, so I don't know. Well, it's obvious somebody's out there because they're behind the door right now. Okay, okay, just calm down. I'll take care of it. Are you Miss Lily Brown? Yes, I am. I'm Detective Pike. This is my partner, Detective Tally. What can I do for you guys? Have you seen this man? Can't say that I have. Are you sure about that? Positive. Ma'am, you do know that harboring a fugitive is a felony, don't you? Look, I'm not harboring any fugitive here, so if you guys will excuse me, I was kind of in the middle of something. Well, we do have a search warrant, and we will search this property. So why don't you make it easy on yourself and tell us where he is? Hey, wait, did you hear that? I did. Go around back. I don't know what you guys think you just heard, but I'm telling you. Step aside, ma'am. Hey, hold up. You can't just come in here like that. Read the warrant. I can explain. No need. I can explain. Just tell me where he is. Look, I did something wrong, so why don't you just punish me? Let me get this straight. You want me to punish you for something that you just did? Yeah, punish me. We can start by dropping the knife and putting it on the table. Now put your hands behind your back. You should probably tell me where he is right now. Nice shot, man. Thanks. That took you forever to get here. I was busy. I don't have a final assignment. I got that right. Listen, Tina. I didn't mean anything when I said you needed to work on your social skills. If reading technical manuals is how you like to enjoy your life, then who am I to say anything? I just think it would be nice if you explored some other options, you know? Like hanging out with friends. I just can't believe that you don't think I could be social. We talk all the time. At work. <laughs> well, it looks like someone's having a depressing day. Guess I need to work on my poker face. Is this about your partner? 
partner? Coleman's son's got a new partner. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. You had to know you were eventually going to get assigned someone new. Well, sure I knew. I just wish they'd chosen someone other than a young hotshot trying to make a name for himself, that's all. Now, how could you possibly even know that? Well, I asked around, and my sources tell me that this is nothing but a kid trying to use my department as a stepping stone. You've got to be more positive about this. Look, Coleman wouldn't assign just anyone to you. And who knows, you might even become a really effective duo and be best friends. I'll be quiet now. Yeah, so when are we gonna meet this hot shot? Tomorrow. Detective Tally, I presume. At your service. Scott Hyland, your new partner. Welcome to the cybercrime unit. Thank you, I'm really excited to be here. I'm curious. A lot of law enforcement officials look at this department as kind of a joke. What's your interest in it? Oh, people mock what they don't understand. I mean, digital age and it's about time the law caught up with technology. Sounds more like a tagline than an answer. Look, I wanted something new and this seems like the perfect fit. I see. What? Nothing. No, it looks like you have something on your mind. Why don't you go ahead and say it? All right. Don't take what we do here lightly. If you came here just to make a name for yourself, you're in the wrong department. I take my job very seriously. If you say so. All right. Well, as you know, the Cyber Crimes Unit focuses on crimes committed online. We started capturing online predators, but we've expanded to other crimes. Now, this department runs just like any other department, and um, like yourself, most of the people here are uh, seasoned professionals. Cool. Good afternoon, detectives. Detective Tally, this is Miss Watkins, our technician. And a whole lot more. Uh, we've met before, actually. She helped me capture a fugitive on my last assignment. Happy to help out. Uh, you do great work, just like everyone says. Oh, checking up on me. I'd like to know who I'm working with. I'm curious to know what you think of this department so far. It's impressive. You picked a good day to come. We just updated our software and got new equipment. It's pretty exciting. What do you have for us? Uh, did you hear about a bank robbery on Charlotte last week? Yeah, I remember reading some about that. A guy walks into a bank wearing hats and sunglasses, hands a note to the teller asking for some money, and walks away like five grand. Mm -hmm. They say he might be responsible for some other robberies. That's correct, and I'm happy to report I've been able to ID him. How? <laughs> this idiot posted pictures of himself posing with the stolen cash on his own damn social networking page. They say a photo's worth a thousand words. No kidding. So who is this guy? His name's Jeff Anderson, and he's been in trouble with the law a few times before for theft. Some people never learn. I send his address to your cell phone. Good work. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a program to get back to. Knock yourself out. Let's go see Mr. Anderson and show him the price for stupidity. All right. Bye, honey. Have a great day. Oh, I will. Today should be another profitable day. Yeah, you've been doing really good lately. What's your secret? Well, uh, baby, a good magician will never tell his secret, but let's just say work's been a steal lately. All right. <laughs> Are you Jeff Anderson? That's me. I don't suppose you could spare five grand. I don't know what you're talking about. And, um, if you'll excuse me, I need to get to work. Mm -hmm. Something tells me you're not going to make it to work today. <laughs> Who are you guys? We're a branch of the police force that specializes in tracking and monitoring crimes committed online. So basically, uh, we're cyber police. You like that? Just came up with it. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the cyber crimes unit? So, what, did I download music illegally? Funny. That's not me. I suppose that's your evil twin. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. I'm just talking to some friends. All right, look, guys. Can we have this conversation somewhere else? Sure. How about a jail cell? It's just a misunderstanding, all right? Then I suppose this is Monopoly money in your hand? I hate it when they run. I want it. Stop running! Shoots and scores. Oh, 
there. <laughs> I just hit you in the head with a basketball from like 20 yards. What? Give me your hand. What the hell, man? You broke my sunglasses. Yeah, don't you ever watch anything like involving cops and chasing? It never works out for you, does it? Here, keep this. You'll need it for a pillow when you're in prison. Congrats on your first cyber arrest. Oh, thank you, sir. I mean, it's a team effort. Go team. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, Detective Tally? This is Ms. Amber Carmichael, our DA. It's nice to meet you, Detective Tally. Oh, please call me Joe. How's your first day going? Oh, it's great. We actually just made our first arrest together. Excellent. Thanks. What brings you here? Just finishing up some paperwork on my current case. Oh, is it that one about the guy who tried to sell pot on the internet? The one and only. Oh, sorry, Miss Carmichael. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't happen to be related to Lauren Carmichael? <clears throat> Lauren Carmichael's my mother. Lauren Carmichael's your mom? Yep. Oh my god, okay, I had a professor, huge fan. Some of her cases were required readings for us. I'm kind of also a huge fan. She was very popular. I'm sorry, I did not mean to come off like a huge fanboy or anything. It's okay, I'm very proud of my mother's accomplishments. She was a great DA. I can only hope to be half as good as she was. Oh, I'm sure you will. I appreciate that. If you'll excuse me, I better be going. All right, so is there anything else you need from us? Not at the moment. All right, in that case, I'm gonna grab some food. You guys wanna join? I'm fine. All right, cool. So, how's it going between you two? Fine. You know, we never really talked about the whole incident with Charlie. Well, there's not much to talk about. I wasn't watching his back properly. He got shot. Look, detective, it wasn't your fault. It was a chaotic situation. Unfortunately, that doesn't change the fact that Charlie's injured and not coming back. Well, look, if you ever feel the need to talk about it, you know where my office is. Social. Not exactly what you expected the future to be, huh? Excuse me? The future? Okay. You know, it's not flying cars or holodecks or lightsabers or anything, but there it is. It's kind of cool and a little disturbing at the same time. Yeah, well, at least it's not Blade Runner, right? <laughs> That's looking at the positive side of things. So, uh, can, can I join me? So, how's it going with you and Scott? Is he always so warm and cuddly? Yeah, pretty much always the opposite. I can tell he hates me. Let me tell you something about Scott. He is arrogant, stubborn, cold, distant, and an ass. Okay, aren't you guys friends? Yeah, of course. Why would you think otherwise? Oh, no, no reason at all. Anyway, what I was going to say is Scott really respects the badge and believes in it. So as long as you're wearing the badge, you're good with him. You're just gonna have to tough it out for a little while. He's going through a rough time. Rough time? I think he blames himself for his last partner being injured. I can understand. I, I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to my last partner. I'd be devastated. He hasn't really dealt with what happened. Well, don't you two make a cute little couple. What can I do for you, detective? We have another case. What kind of case? It's a possible bomb threat at a public school. A bomb threat? Yeah, and we'd better get going. Hopefully this won't blow up in our faces. Let's talk to you, Tina. Report. We just got a call about the possibility of a bomb at a local public school. We haven't confirmed yet if the bomb is real. Who's on it? Detectives Tally and Highland. The bomb squad will meet them there. Tell me about our suspect. His name's Mike Hamilton. He's been at the school three years. Who tipped us about this? It was actually one of the teachers. They saw a post that Hamilton put on his social networking site suggesting that he was gonna blow up the school. They alerted the principal immediately. Is Hamilton aware we're on to him? According to the principal, he's still in the classroom. He has no idea. The students are quietly being escorted out. Let's hope we can keep the element of surprise. Hi, right, this is classroom. Do you see him? Yeah. How do you wanna play this out? We wait for further instruction. Oh, come on, man. Right now we have the element of surprise on our side. We just go and take him down and, I don't know, make him tell us where the bomb is or something. It's too risky. He may have the trigger on him, and if he sees us or suspects something, he might pull it. Yeah, but what if it's a ticking time bomb, man? We're already running out of time. The bomb squad's searching the building. 
We should just sit tight and go by the book. You're right, I'm a little nervous. At least we'll go out with a bang. Don't say that, man. Hi, Captain, this is Scott. What are your orders? Crap. Yes, sir. Oh. F. Can I help you? I'm Detective Highland, and you can start by putting the croissant down and putting your hands in the air. Excuse me? You heard me. I said put down the croissant and put your hands in the air. What is this about? You're coming with us. But I didn't do anything! You remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. A bomb? I would never put a bomb anywhere! Or even attempt to try something like that! Then explain this, Mr. Hamilton. What is this? Well, what you type on cyberspace it doesn't always stay in cyberspace. Sorry. This is all just a misunderstanding. A, a joke gone bad. Well, your co-workers weren't amused. Oh my god, I, I can't believe all this is happening. I, I didn't mean anything by it. You have to believe me. Mr. Hamilton, I believe you. You do? Yes. Is this some kind of good cop, bad cop routine? Listen, right now, you need to start telling us the truth because you're in a lot of trouble. I mean, we can help you get out of this, just open up to us. My life sucks. Can you please be more specific? My girlfriend cheated on me with my best friend. The students, they treat me like crap and the principal isn't doing much. And the pay sucks. Well, that just sounds like a string of bad luck. I was just fed up with the way things were going and the crappy hand I got dealt in life. All I ever wanted to do was be a teacher and help make a difference. My dream job? turned into a nightmare. And I would never do anything to harm any of my students. Well, it looks like your people have everything wrapped up. You've got a really good team here. Uh, the best. Mm -hmm. And I thought middle school was tough. Look, your partner's not bad, but if you're not happy with him, I can look into getting you a new one. No, you're right. Right? About what? I just need to leave the past behind and move forward. Charlie wouldn't want you beating yourself up the way you've been doing. Yeah. A new partner won't be necessary. Understood. What are you doing? I'm just looking over the report. On paper. <laughs> That's yeah, my sound a little weird, but I'm kind of burnt out from the whole tech stuff right now. Hmm. Just trying to put a little human component to it, but of course after I will type it up. So. I see. Well, I just wanted to say good job in the interrogation. Thank you. And this may come as a shock to you, but I'm not really the kind of guy who opens up a lot or talks about his feelings. I kind of tend to keep things bottled up. Not you. All right, I had that coming. But what I wanted to say is that I'm sorry for not being more welcoming. I um, I misjudged you, and and I think you're a great detective. Thanks, man. I mean, that really means a lot coming from you. Yeah, well, let's not get sappy about it. I'll just leave it with another apology, okay? Yeah, no apologies, okay? I mean, we all have to deal with the stresses of our job and the decisions we make, and you know, you don't know me, I don't know you right now, but work through it. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. See you tomorrow. All right.